Hey guys, Jay Dorman here with Dorset Automotive and the Dorset Pre-Owned Center. And if I got another beauty for you, we've seen the Bronco in the past. This is the all-new 2022 Ford Bronco Big Ben Edition. This is a 2.3-liter four-cylinder engine, and this vehicle is in a really cool color. I believe they call it Area 51. It's a very sought-after and hard to come by color. It is a one-owner vehicle, and I believe it's got just under 4,000 miles on it. This will actually be one of our certified vehicles, and as you can see, it does have a really easy to use soft top that flips back. I would attempt to take it all the way off, but I don't have the time. It's actually really easy and user friendly uh, compared to a lot of the older Jeeps I've had. Uh, this is actually, you can take it off in five to 10 minutes. But let me show you a couple other cool features about the Bronco Big Ben. So in 2022, Ford decided to go back to its old roots and brought out the redesigned all new Ford Bronco. And if you're from my area, you would have loved the Ford Bronco. This one's actually a little bit before my time. This is more of the 70s style. I was more of an 80s kid. But the Ford Bronco, they did a killer job with this. You know, I'm a big Jeep enthusiast. I love my Jeep Wranglers. I have a new love though. I love the Ford Bronco. I still love my Jeeps, but I love the new redesigned Ford Bronco. We've had two doors in here. We've had four doors. I really enjoy the color on this one. This one is all stock. The only thing that's actually marketed on is a really cool little whip antenna you've got. Like I said, it is a one owner. It will have that big five year 150 engine transmission warranty from us here at Dorset Automotive. You have the remainder of the 336 bumper to bumper, the five year 60. We do give you five years of brake pad replacement and labor, three free oil changes and a tire rotation. And let me tell you what, if you're ready for summer, you will love the Bronco. Starting off, I do like the fact that it does have a frameless window. So when you give you kind of that open air feeling when you've got the windows down, the inside, this is cloth interior. It's got the handles, so if you decide to do a little bit more aggressive off-roading, or if you have a little bit of issue getting in and out, they put the handles in really good locations on this. This one is a shift on the fly four-wheel drive, so it's real simple as you're driving along, just simply shift it into gear. No need to put it in neutral, no need to stop. It does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So if you want to use, and it's gonna honk every time I close the door because it thinks I have the keys on me. You can hear it running right now. Don't let the four-cylinder fool you. Ford does a really good job with their EcoBoost engines. And this little four cylinder is very peppy. I want to say it's got right around high 200, maybe low 300 horsepower on it after driving it. It gets really good gas mileage too, which is something that's kind of uncommon with these bigger vehicles. You can flip this really nice. And this is a high end soft top. They did a great job with this. Uh, they got away from the, the zipper system that we've seen on the other SUVs that are similar to this. You pop this open, check this out. You've got these four buckles here. You pop that off. There's four buckles here in the back. These simply slide out. There's no zippers. This slides out. The back door here is really heavy. I do like this. So you, if you've ever owned a Jeep, you'll know that that door can slam on you really easy if you're parked on the wrong incline. This door has this big, beautiful hydraulic shock here. It actually gives a little bit more tension so you don't have to worry about the door slamming closed on you. Now, I will say this back here in the back, once you've got the roof back, there's a little lever, you pop it, and then the rest of the, the roof will come down real easily. I've literally put this roof up and down within 10 minutes. I can't say I was able to do that when I had the Jeep. I tried. The new JL Jeep is a lot easier to use. Uh, we'll do a walk around on it on one of those here. I've got on the dealership here soon. But I do love the soft top on the Bronco. I think the, of all the things, that's really a home run that they did. The Bronco is definitely wider and longer than the Jeep Wrangler. So it has a little bit better ride to it, I feel. It's got a little bit smoother ride. At higher speeds, you get it up on the highway if you're on uh, 70, you're gonna get a little bit better um, feel for it when it's cruising along. The Bronco, in some variations, and there are several variations, much like Jeep, they came out with all kinds of different versions. The Big Bend is kind of like a Sport or a Willys version. Still has lots of nice equipment to it, and of course, my favorite, it does have the capless fuel, fuel door. I really do enjoy that. I just wish they'd put that on all of them. You've got these really cool blacked out heavy duty fenders. I was told that on some of these, you can actually take the side body panels off for off-roading. So if you don't want to scratch your body up, you can pop those off. The doors still do come off on these. I've not attempted to take the doors off. I don't know how hard or easy it is. I'll try to do that sometime here in the near future and report back to you. But this 2022 Bronco won't last long. They usually average about a week or two here on the lot. But the 2022 Bronco that you see here, the Area 51, this will not last long here at Dorset Automotive. You need to come down, check this out on South US Highway 41. And remember, if you're not driving with Jay, you are driving the wrong way. Have a beautiful day, everyone. We'll see you down here at the dealership.